I'm Carolyn. And I'm Tommy. Welcome to Good For You News. The power of you isn't just about what goes on inside our facilities. It's all about what you do outside of work too. Tish Frederick works at Fraser Rehab, and when she's not there, she's running a nonprofit called Beautiful As You Are, or BEA for short. It's a program helping girls boost their self-esteem. This summer, she plans to open the BEA Center in Clarksville. The wonderful thing about that space is it's all volunteer run also. So nobody will be receiving a paycheck. We're just doing art therapy, dance therapy, yoga, music therapy, self-esteem building. There's a relaxation room um, where the girls can just go and relax, sit in recliners, play with sensory items, and everything we're gonna provide is free to the public. Amazing work, Tish. An 11-year-old girl is making and selling string artwork to help our nurses. Megan makes all of the art herself and sells it online. So far, she's raised $1,000. She donated the money and three red hearts to U L hospital nurses working with COVID-19 patients. Megan asked for the money to be used for face cream and other items the nurses need. The artwork will hang where the nurses can see it every day. When we walk by and we're having a down day, we're gonna see these hearts and we're gonna know that Megan's with us and is gonna uplift us through any moment that we're going through. And um, we're gonna feel that love and that's gonna be forever. Thanks so much, Megan. A Kentucky mother is sharing her son's story in hopes that it will encourage other people to become organ donors. Julie Hoffman's son, Wyatt, died in April after an accidental overdose. He donated most of his organs. After we shared Wyatt's story on social media, Julie says family members of two of the recipients of her son's organs sent her messages. People are alive this morning, sharing their lives with their children, being able to be a husband to their wives, being able to be that person to a significant other because of Wyatt. And I'm telling you what, if that doesn't give you strength to go on for the day, if the fact that I might someday be able to meet, my whole family might someday be able to meet the person that has Wyatt's heart or lungs or liver or kidneys in them, isn't that seemed to me like enough reason right there. What an incredible story. Now, here's another one about generosity. The ancient order of the Hibernians had to cancel the Louisville St. Patrick's Day Parade this year, but they still wanted to help the community. So they decided to buy food from some of their sponsors and donate it to first responders. Jefferson County Sheriff declined the donation and told the group to give the food to healthcare heroes at UofL Hospital instead. Parade is a charity event. It's an actual 501c3 event that we use to do stuff like this and we didn't have it so we lost a ton of money but that didn't stop anybody they were like okay what do we got to do and i was like okay yeah. what if and everybody jumped on board and and they're loving it and you know guys that can break away will come and help deliver the food just because it's a great feeling and here's a story about a really good friend Haley and julia met online Haley's mom nina works at mary and elizabeth hospital julia lives in florida when she heard that Haley's mom works at a hospital, she used her 3D printer to make ear savers and sent them to Nina. I just want to thank healthcare workers, first of all. They're the real heroes out here doing it every day. And um, as for other kids just sitting in their rooms, it's like, if you can think about any way to just make something to help out, even just sending a letter to hospitals just to give them a little boost during the day, it really means a lot to all of them. Thanks, Julia. We know the nurses are so appreciative of your donation. And that story was sent to us through email. If you have something you'd like to see on Good For You News, send it to us at marketing at uoflhealth.org. Thanks for all you do to help spread the power of you. We'll see you next time. Bye.